welcome back to my channel. So today's video is definitely going to be more academic based. I did ask on my Instagram, honestly, last semester, so I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this video up, what kind of things you want to see. And a lot of you wanted to see like how I study, how I studied specifically for anatomy, how I studied for biochem. So today I'm going to be telling you how I studied for biochem. I am a senior at Michigan State University. I took it in the spring of sophomore year. I did very well. I scored high on most of the exams four-pointed all of them so I just want to give you guys some tips and let you know how I studied what worked for me I'll start off with just general studying tips that will probably apply to any science course that you're in specifically biochem and then the second half if you are an MSU student you'll be taking the exact same class that I did so I'll give you some more specific tips just for that class so this is my binder that I used clearly not very thick it's like the one inch binders or whatever and in here, I just kept all of my note sheets. So that's kind of my first tip for any science class is whether you have lectures, textbooks, videos, whatever like content they give you to learn. I like to make like single note sheets. Um, I'll show you guys some examples. We can just flip through them together. Why not? So this is just like the first lecture. It's really nothing special at all. Like I just make notes on the content that they tell us to do um yeah i'm just gonna flip through like kind of a lot of pages at once to show you examples but um yeah so this is all like the beginning of everything and then this is like another exam kind of deal if you're interested in seeing like more specifics of all the pages like you can let me know but basically all that i do is pick like one or two like colored colors like for pens and I would use those as like a highlight color title color underlining color and then I write in either black ink usually a black ink or pencil and I think it's better than using a ton of different colors because that honestly gets so overwhelming I think for your brain and then I also like to switch like what color I'm using once I switch to the next lecture the way our biochem class work is it was online you didn't really have a choice you took the online biochem and you watched lecture videos and then you had exams based on those lectures and the exams were your entire grade so I would watch the lectures and then take these notes I wouldn't write like in a notebook I like using online paper because then you're more free to do diagrams flow charts connect things that's kind of my main thing for studying is just like connecting different ideas and basically I try to keep everything for that lecture on like a couple pages depending on how long it is so really condensing things but also making sure that you're hitting everything important that's kind of something that really does come with trial and error so i'm sorry i can't tell you this is always important this always isn't and you can usually tell from your professor like what they're emphasizing as to like what really is important so keep that in mind i guess those are my outlines and study sheets i'll quickly put in like at the end I think because I don't want to bore you guys a video of me flipping through them a little bit more so you can get more of an example if you're interested I'll put that at the end and I just have a couple other general tips for being successful in biochem really or any class so the first is Quizlet so I had these study sheets they were great I would review them when I'm studying for the exam that's like how I went over the content but I also would make Quizlets so I would make Quizlets for basically single things you have to memorize the so definitions just like simple things like that, but my Quizlet would usually be like a hundred-ish note cards. Each unit, we had four units, but then I'd have like 10, 15 lectures total. So it's by far not all of the content, and a lot of times I would also base those off of practice test questions, so I don't know if your professor is going to give you practice tests. Ours did, and that's my third tip. Practice tests are a lifesaver. If you have them, use them use them well, take them many times each. For us, there were multiple choice exams, but it would be like A through like J, so there was lots of options. So the best way for me to study using the practice test was to make sure not only could I get the question right, but that I knew what all the other answers were describing. So if they were describing a different term or something, that I could say what that is, or I could like correct why it's wrong, something like that. That's when you know that you like truly understand the concepts. So I think that's really a great way to use practice exams, and that's what I did. I would take a practice exam, I would circle anything I got wrong, obviously, but then I would make a different mark, whether it was like an X or something different, on questions that I either guessed on and happened to get right, 
or questions that I got right but I couldn't go through and correct like A through J like I was just describing. So the first time I take a practice test, as you could imagine, almost every question had some kind of mark because I didn't know all of the content right away because you're still going through your studying. So taking my lecture notes, using Quizlet for extra like fast memorizing things, and then using practice tests for like my three big things. But if you are struggling more than that or if you're someone that likes group studying, I think that having a friend in the class or making a friend in the class is very beneficial. I had a couple girls taking the class at the same time as me and that was really useful just because we could bounce questions off of each other kind of thing. And then um, also if that doesn't help or if you don't have friends, you don't want to make friends in the class, obviously your professor is an amazing resource. I personally didn't have to um, go see the professor much just because I was kind of teaching myself the material okay as is, but that's obviously a great resource. They can give you better study tips, maybe something different than what I'm telling you. So those are all of my general how to study for biochem, honestly how I study for all of my upper level sciences at this point. I am a human bio major, so this school year in the fall of my senior year I'm taking pharmacology, immunology, histology, like tough science classes, so I use the same method. I have my uh iPad now but um, before I would use paper but now I'm just doing study sheets on here which I like a lot better I'm wasting a lot less paper obviously and it's just kind of fun to use an iPad. Anyways so now I'm gonna get into the tips that are MSU specific and then if you are looking to see like more examples of my study sheets I'll put the time right here because I'm gonna do that after the MSU specific stuff but so if you are taking biochem at MSU the online one so I would just say a couple things that I did that I figured out kind of after the first exam. I actually didn't always watch the lectures because she posts a transcript with every single word that she says during the lectures. So what I would do is I'd go split screen on my Mac, I'd have the PowerPoints on one side, then the transcript on the other. I found that if I was watching the lecture, I would have to do this that I'm describing now again after anyways. And I realized that watching the lecture firsthand, I really wasn't getting anything out of it. I was kind of listening, trying to take notes. It wasn't functional for me. And when you have the transcript up, you can go through it exactly at your own pace. So if she's going over something that you know already, like I knew a handful of the stuff from my intro bio classes or from DAT studying, so I could just zoom through that quickly. No worries. But if there was something that I wasn't familiar with, she might have gone through that really fast in the lecture video, but I needed to take more time on it. So I just thought it found it to be like more efficient and useful for me. So I'd have the transcript up and the slides up and I would just kind of scroll through and go through it in that way. I did, one thing that I think helped me a lot to not miss any material is I would like highlight the transcript as I went and then like delete once I made sure that I knew. Like So I was reading every sentence in great detail, making sure that I knew everything that it was saying either remembering it or putting it on that note sheet that I showed you guys. That's kind of how I went through and made sure I wasn't missing anything. And I know that with when I was just watching the lecture videos, I definitely was missing things. So this was the best way for me to make sure I was learning all the content and making sure I knew like what she was emphasizing. Also have a textbook for this class that's optional. I didn't use it. I could have had access to one because my roommate had one, but I didn't need to use it just because those practice exams are very, very similar to the real exam. And if you take like five or six of them and you take them multiple times, I feel like you'll be very prepared. And if you go through the way I said, like correcting your answers and everything, I think you'll know the content very well. At least that's what happened with me and with my friends. So I would just say that's kind of the best way to study. The book is obviously a good resource and the lecture videos are also a good resource. I have other friends that need to hear it being read at them, so they need the transcript and the video up instead, not the PowerPoints, so they go through it that way. It really just kind of depends how you like to learn. So that's kind of how I did this online class, how I did biochem, how I do my sciences. So I hope that this was helpful for you. I'm gonna put um, some clips of those notes in now. That is all of my tips for studying for biochem. I hope that this helps you. It's definitely a challenging class and I know everyone studies differently so this 
literally might not work for you at all, but I hope that it does, and I hope that you're very successful in all your studying. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.